Hello, welcome to Photoix. Uh, this is going to be a really quick video on how to import and export your images in Lightroom. Um, I have touched on, on it in other videos, but um, this is just going to be specific uh, for those. Uh, it's going to be slightly different depending on how your computer is set up, um, but this is the basic steps. Okay, so I've taken some pictures on my camera and I've got my um, compact flash card and I'm going to put my compact flash card into my card reader and you see on the screen Lightroom pops up automatically now um, your computer might be set up slightly different it might not open automatically so you might have to go to the icon and open it and come down to um, the import uh, setting. Okay, so this is the import module. As you can see over here, we've got um, the card. These are the images, and this is where the images are going to be saved to. You've got several options up here copy as DNG, copy, move, and add. Uh, what these mean is you can copy the uh, raw NEF files, convert them to Adobe's DNG format and copy them to the location or you can just copy them to the location um, as these are on a compact flash card these move and add are actually blanked out you can't move the files off the compact flash card okay so we'll have a look over in this bit here um, this area here lists where the photos are going to be copied to. If you click on that you can select um, exactly where you want the photos to go. Um, for this I'm just going to choose desktop um, but I suggest uh, that you put them in your My Pictures folder and you let Lightroom uh, arrange them all for you. This box here you can make a second copy to another hard drive so that's really good for backing your images up and there's some other options here file renaming um, apply during import uh, if you're doing a batch of images and you know that you're going to have the same settings on all of them uh, you can edit them all straight away on the import you don't even have to go to the develop module now this is the destination you can put into subfolder and then you can organize them uh, in different date formats like I said I suggest you put them in your my pictures folder or a separate pictures folder and you let Lightroom automatically date them for you and that will create uh, all these folders in the different dates and it would be nice and easy to find all your photos uh, for this video I'm just going to leave it as it is okay so all our pictures are checked you can see the tick boxes so I'm going to click import That then opens the Lightroom library and it imports your images. Now what I would do is I would go into the develop module and I would do all the settings changes that I wanted and then once I was happy with the photograph and I was ready to export this to a JPEG or a TIFF I'll do the following come up to file and export or control shift E and that brings up the export box so we have a list of options here you can export to a specific folder again just for this video I'm going to choose the desktop you can put it in a subfolder and you can add the JPEG images back into your Lightroom catalog. Um, I don't use this option because I only want my Lightroom catalog to have the raw images in. If you've got existing file names you can overwrite them or ask to overwrite them. You can rename them and you have several options for custom names or sequences and this is where you choose your file type. You can have JPEG, PSD, TIFF, D 
DNG or original. Most of the time you're going to want JPEG or TIFF. I'm going to leave it on JPEG. This is the quality, the colour space. I tend to leave in sRGB for JPEG. You can limit the file size, which is really useful if you're uploading to forums or on the web and there's a file size limit. Uh, you can apply output sharpening. I don't tend to use this as I usually sharpen in the develop module. And you can watermark your image. So you can see my how to watermark using Lightroom and Photoshop video for more on that. And post processing, we don't want anything. So once you're happy with all these settings, just click export. And you'll see here. It's exported the JPEG file. So that's it really, it's as easy as that. Um, a lot of people get confused in Lightroom how to save uh, the raw file back as a JPEG. Um, in Lightroom you're not saving, you're exporting. And that's how you do it. Okay, hope that was useful. Uh, check out my channel for more videos and my website www.photox.co.uk Thanks very much.